Hi, I'm Connor Svensson, founder and CEO of Web3 Labs, and this is your week in blockchain on Monday, the 15th of February 2021. The big news in the last week has been Elon Musk announcing Tesla's $1.5 billion purchase of Bitcoin. A lot of people are now discussing whether this means other companies are going to be follow suit. Following suit. The Bitcoin market certainly rallied in the last seven days off the back of this, but this, this bigger question certainly has some important ramifications for companies. Given that you know, Tesla prides itself on being you know, very forward thinking and innovative, of course, you know, for them, it, it felt like a more logical thing to do to take this big punt. Of course, there are questions on the fact that the Bitcoin network uses a lot of power in order to run, which is you know, it doesn't directly correlate with the wider goals of Tesla about creating a greener environment. However, uh, it is a sign of, you know, their faith in the actual cryptocurrency. But when we think about some, you know, more established businesses, you know, they are sitting on a lot of cash and they have corporate treasury functions that are there for actually, you know, managing, you know, their cash and putting it into different sorts of investments. The big issue with the cryptocurrency markets is that they are so volatile. You, you, you can have a currency move five or 10% in a single day. And that sort of volatility is just not going to be acceptable to your, your average treasury function within a large organization who do have to you know, manage their, the cash of that business um, conservatively. And so as a result of that, uh, I, it, it seems unlikely anyway that other businesses will be following suit. The next item that uh, was, was big news in the last week was CME F futures launching uh, successfully. So this enables traders to actually take futures derivative contracts uh, in the, the price of Ethereum. And so on the first day of uh, them being launched, there was actually 30 million US dollars on day one. Bitcoin futures were launched uh, to a, a couple of years ago. But you know this recognition of Ethereum being used within CME for trading and the response from traders indicates that uh, there is you know, significant demand uh, for these, these as an asset class. The blockchain company R3 as well, they actually re released a brand new product too, uh, which, is, which is called Conclave. And this provides secure Enclave functionality to large data sets. So one, one of the problems that a lot of organizations face is that they have data which would be helpful to share with other organizations, but they want to preserve the privacy associated with it. They don't want to just hand these data sets over. And so R3 creators of Corda getting into this space around confidential computing using the Intel's SGX. Microsoft have been working focused on this space for a number of years as well with their confidential consortium framework too. And, and so I think it's you know testament to the fact that there is a lot of potential corporate interest here because you know blockchain doesn't provide support for confidential data exchange. And the other company as well that's very involved in this, albeit from a very you know pure sort of decentralization perspective, is Oasis Labs as well, who actually um, you know are providing basically a network for uh, exchanging of these uh, confidential data sets. And so this conclave released by R3 is big news, and it'll be interesting to see how the other vendors follow suit. We also had Mastercard announce that uh, they're going to start accepting crypto payments as well, which you know. Another really significant uh, event to happen in the marketplace. It, it, you know, one of the the major payment providers is basically saying, yes, we recognise that there's a need to for merchants to be able to accept crypto, and it, and this this is really going to help continue to kind of help normalise uh, crypto as an actual currency. So again, it's you know yet another sign that uh, some of the larger you know incumbents are actually starting to embrace the technology. Moving more into the de decentralized world as well, uh, the MetaMask wallet, uh, which which provides a, a a wallet for transacting with Ethereum networks. It's something that's very widely used for people who actually want to interact with uh, blockchain applications on the Ethereum blockchain. It's it's a wallet that runs in people's browsers, and they also released an iOS and Android app uh, last year for this. But the, the the key challenge with these technologies always is is how they actually make money. And MetaMask in the last few months seems to have managed to overcome that hurdle. And in this week, uh, it's been reported that uh, they are making actually over 100,000 USD a day with their token swap functionality. And so what, what this provides is you know, people have this MetaMask wallet on their phone or on their computer. And what they can do is that they can exchange tokens they have of one specific blockchain asset for tokens of another blockchain asset. And MetaMask takes care of that by behind the scenes going off to decentralized exchanges. Uh, but from the point of view of the user, 
uh, they don't see anything different there. Um, Metamask takes 0.875% uh, in fees, and just given the volume of interest on these decentralized exchanges, it's actually meant that uh, they've been able to bring in a significant amount of revenue from this feature. So it's fascinating to see from a business perspective because you know, this is a wallet technology that's managed to find a revenue model as well, which has been succeeding for them. Uh, the, the, the other thing that's been happening uh, is, is the, the the NBA Top Shops. So N NBA Top Shops, they're actually a crypto collectible or non non fungible token, but they're they're they're, they're licensed officially by the NBA. So. It, you might remember a few years back, there was a craze called Crypto Kitties, where people could buy these uh, digital cats, basically, that uh, existed on the Ethereum blockchain as what are called non-fungible tokens, which are basically tokens uh, that represent one of these kitties, and they can be bought and traded and exchanged. In exchange. They were created by a company called Dapper Labs. Dapper Labs weren't happy with the performance of the Ethereum blockchain, so then they started creating their own blockchain called the Flow blockchain. And then they, they got this tie-in with the NBA and they created these NBA top shots and uh, the, the, the demand has been absolutely crazy for them. Um, last week they sold over 2.6 million dollars worth in 30 minutes and so if you're interested in seeing you know where there is genuine consumer appeal for this technology I encourage you to take a look and uh, re read up more on that. The packs themselves were 999 dollars each so you know it shows that people are willing to throw serious money at these digital collectibles. Finally, just uh, wrapping up in terms of some prices as well. So the um, the, the, the cryptocurrency market cap, it's a standard of all cryptocurrencies is standing at one and a half trillion currently. Um, and then also the total value of crypto assets locked in DeFi is at 40.78 billion right now, which, you know, these indicators, although we're not here to talk about cryptocurrency, they do talk to the overall adoption and interest in crypto assets and uh, applications that are being built on top of cryptocurrency blockchain networks. So it's, it's important that we highlight these each week. So hopefully you found this brief update useful. I plan to start doing these every week. So if you like it, please do, you know, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you have any comments as well, I want to keep this brief, but I want to make it very helpful so that people can actually see you know, significant things that are happening in the world of business and blockchain that actually intersect and show how this new world is moving forward. Thanks, and I'll see you in a week's time.